Only on Fox 5, a Maryland mother is pulling her son out of Frederick, Maryland High School. She is upset with how a football player's repeated use of a racial slur has gone unanswered until today, only after her daughter posted videos on social media about it. Stephanie Ramirez spoke with the family. She joins us now live in Frederick with more. Stephanie, what can you tell us about this? Sure, Rob Sharin. So this mother is Melanie Travis, and she tells us that she does not feel safe with her children in this school. The issue has to do with a JV football player uh, here at Governor uh, Thomas Johnson High School here in Frederick, Maryland, who was caught on more than one video using the N-word. Now, Travis tells us her son also plays on the JV team, but today he packed up his football locker. They went on and completely washed their hands clean of it, said that it happened on a platform, like a chat platform outside of the school system, and therefore they were leaving it to the parents to discuss with their kids. So um, the fact that the principal never reached out to the school board bothers me. Say it again. I said I hate so much. I hate on the other. Always be saying. Say what you said before. I said I hate. I'm smoking that. That clip and another are where you hear the player saying the N-word. It was posted to Facebook by Melanie Travis's daughter. Melanie Travis tells us that the matter first came up about two weeks ago when she told the school and coaches that the player in question had used the N-word in a group chat. And she and her son say there have been other incidents since. This is also the same school system where last spring three eighth graders were charged with hate crimes in connection to posting online threats against the school system's black community. Now, in this incident, the FCPS spokesperson says as soon as they learned of the videos, they started their investigation and removed the student from campus today. We know how hurtful uh, this this is to so many in our community, and it's just not acceptable. I'm a little bit frustrated with the team themselves because last night was the first time that besides me, another kid really stood up to him about it because some kids on the team just let him use it freely, and it's not okay. Last night, like, really helped get it out there more. Now, some are reaching out to Fox 5, completely denouncing the player's comments, but they also believe that the family of the player is not that way. We did try to reach out to his mother. We have not heard back yet. The school spokesperson, they can't talk specifics on discipline is what I'm told, but we are being told at the moment that that is the only student facing reprimand and that the sheriff's office is also looking into whether possible hate crime charges should also be applied here as well. As back to you.